What's up guys, welcome back to Inside Out Precision. Uh, today we are reviewing the landslide and a lot of hype around this site, very hard site to get. Um, we got, I think we had them on order since December, we got them like two weeks ago um, and a very limited run of them. So I'm gonna do a review on it today. Uh, this is actually a three pin version. Um, you can get a single pin head, two, three, four, five, whatever you want for pin configuration. Um, but for today's purpose, we're gonna be running the, the three pin. So uh, this site's made by Trueball Excel. Um, if you're familiar with Excel at all, you know they've been in the target game forever. They're hands down the most popular target site on the market. I think they're probably the best. Um, and in the last few years, um, they've really started putting a lot of that technology into their hunting sites. Um, so this site is loaded with a bunch of cool features. Um, I really wanna put one of these on my bow and we have so few of them that they don't want the employees purchasing them because we need to sell them. <laughs> um, but once things slow down a little bit after this year, I'm definitely gonna be putting one of these on my bow. Um, so to start, uh, probably the coolest feature about this site is just how rapidly it, it can adjust. Um, so you've got a little locking mechanism right here. I unlock that and then this, I mean that moves the site super quick. Um, it does not have a micro adjust up and down here, but it does move really rapidly. Um, and then if I really want to drop it, like if I'm shooting 20 and I want to shoot all the way out to 100, I can just push this wheel in here and the whole thing slides super, super quick. So, you know, whether you're using this as like a, a 3D or a target site or something like that, you know, let's say one target is at 22 yards and you get to the next target and it's 75, I don't have to, you know, spin this thing. I can just, boom, drop it down super quick um, and yeah, and run it. So like that, I mean, like I said, it, it moves really rapidly and like, I don't know if you can see, but it's just pushing that in. Um, obviously once it's in position, you want to relock it if you're going to be shooting multiple arrows at that distance. Um, but that is an awesome feature. It has all micro adjustability for its windage right here. So just like on their target sites, it's just these little clicks. You know, I got a lock right here. Um, and then that'll just click me left and right right there. So I unlock that. There's a little tab right there that you push in, and then this will, I don't want to mess with this too much, but one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is AJ's site, so I don't want to move it all around. Um, but you can really micro adjust that windage. Um, you know, I don't know exactly how far one click is, but I know on their target sites at 20 yards, one click is like a 16th of an inch. Um, so lots and lots of adjustment there, which is really cool. Um, another cool thing with this is, you know, a lot of guys want to run one site for like hunting and target in 3D. Um, you don't have to buy a whole new site. I can just buy a new head on this. Um, the head comes off super easy for, for travel. So I can just unscrew that, boom, pops right off. Let's say I want to shoot indoor 3D and I have a scope. I can just mount the whole new head right into here screw it in and now I've got, you know, basically a completely different site. Um, on top of having micro adjustability in the windage here, the pins themselves are all micro adjustable. So um, if I want to move that pin up and down, I just take my Allen wrench and I loosen the pin that I want to move. And then this knob on the bottom of the site here will, will run that pin up and down. Um, I really like that feature. It's really frustrating when you're, you know, sighting in at like 40 or 50 yards with your bottom pin and, uh, you know, you're two inches high. So you, on a manual site, you know, that you're having to try to bump it down, like on my black gold, um, you know, you move it a little bit and then you're two inches low and then you try to move it back up and you're two inches high again. And you know, this, I can just click, click, click and just drop that pin a tiny, tiny little amount, um, at a time until I'm, until I'm in the middle. Um, they are ambidextrous. So, you don't need to flop everything here. There's not a high or a low side. You just flip, essentially flip this whole bracket um, and then you can take the bubble of the site and put it on, on the other side. Um, so there's not a right and a left hand in this site. You just buy it and then you know, you're gonna flip this bracket, like I said, basically, and uh, everything's just gonna be backwards. Um, but it is a nice feature um, because never fails that 
when from uh, from a shop standpoint, it's like you buy right-handed and then you need left-handed and then you need left-handed and all you have is right-handed. So these can do either or. Um, this is the all aluminum version. So the, the mounting bracket here is aluminum. They do make it in the carbon dovetail. Um, no real difference in terms of like accuracy or anything like that. You are gonna save a little bit of weight with the carbon though. So if that's something you're concerned about, you know, I think it is an extra like 15 bucks or something. Um, but the carbon is definitely a little bit lighter. Um, it's a super light sight as is. So that's one thing that really attracted me to it is there's, there, it's not a heavy sight at all. Um, you know, I love spot hogs. We've sold spot hogs forever. Um, that new triple stack is heavy. And especially if you get like the hog father where all the gears out, all the gears and the adjustability is out here on the front. Um, you know, that new head combined with that, I mean, it's, you know, you got a, almost a two pound sight probably by the time everything is said and done, which is really heavy. Um, these are extremely light. You can get the pins in different sizes, you know, stock or standard. If you just order it, it's just gonna come in 19 thousandths. Like most sites, you know, I really like having the bottom pin in like a 10 thou because that's gonna be the pin that you're aiming at that distance with. Um, so you can order them in that configuration. You also have the um, fiber guard here. So if it's super bright, I can roll this and cover up those pins and tone them down. And then in the dark, you know, you can roll that back out of the way and they collect a ton of light. Really good solid pins on here. Um, you know, all metal construction. Um, and just, I think it's probably one of the more well-built sites. It's got a first, second, and third axis adjustability. Um, so your first is gonna be, you know, on the, on the bar right here. Um, just flip that around. You know, if I loosen these little set screws here, I can level my bar, then I level the second axis to that. Um, your second axis adjustment is right under, where is it? Oh, it's all right on here somewhere, right up here. And then your third is, is right down here. Um, I will say you want to use the Allens that come with it because it is kind of tight in there. So they just have the real short little L Allen. Um, but super easy to adjust, seems to stay, stay put really well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this site. We've sold a ton of them already. Um, and like I said, they are hard to get. So if you can, if you can find one, uh, I would jump on it because we have a few left, um, that we're kind of just keeping in the shop because it's been so hard to keep sites on the shelf. Um, you know, we need, need stock for people that are coming in. Um, so we're not really shipping these right now. Um, but we should be getting more hopefully sooner than later here. Um, because I think this is going to be a really, really popular site. Um, so I know people are probably going to ask about the, um, the sight tapes here. So you do have a dual indicator right here. Um, so once you get your pin set again, this is a three pin site. So I'm going to, you know, sight in my, get everything sighted in, you know, mark my top one here. Um, then I'm going to mark my bottom one, you know, get, once my pins are sighted in, you can spread these indicators out so that. Your top indicator will tell you what your top pin is at, bottom will tell you what the bottom is at. Um, and then there's no calibration tape on these. So basically what you're gonna do, they come with a bunch of uh, sticky sight tapes as well as metal sight tapes. And I like to do either a 20 and a 60 mark or a uh, like a 20 and an, an 80. Generally speaking, the further the distance between those two marks is, um, the more accurate your sight tape will be. So. The process for sighting this in is, you know, again, sight in your pins, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna mark that, mark where my 20 is on my top indicator. And then I'm gonna start, you know, rolling this down to let's say 80 yards. And I'm gonna make another mark on here when my bottom pin is at 80. Um, and then I'm literally just gonna take, start taking those sight tapes and holding them up next to those marks until I find the tape where the 20 and the 80 match up with that. And then that's the sight tape you're gonna put on your site. Um, so they don't have a calibration tape like a spot hog or an option. Um, you know, you could probably run like a black gold sight tape on there that goes by feet per second. Um, the tricky part with those is that, let's say you're both shooting 280 feet a second, the, the distance my pin is from my peep sight at full draw will affect the pin gap. So the further my sight is, the further that distance is, the larger the gap between the pins gets. 
And I don't know it exactly what distance black gold calibrates those at. So for, we see it a lot with guys with long draw lengths or somebody's running their sight way out. Um, you know, if, if I, let's say again, I'm shooting 280 feet a second, I may have to actually use the sight tape for like 274 um, because the, the gap between those, those pins is, is bigger because of the distance from the, the pin to the peep. Um, so it'll usually get you really close, but you might have to play around with it if you're going off of a, like a black gold sight tape that's going by feet per second. So I think the easiest way is, you know, mark your 20, mark your 80, and then again, hold up those sight tapes till you find the one that, that matches up. Um, the metal sight tape is really nice because for a hunting application, you don't have to ever worry about it like unsticking or bleeding or anything like that. I've never had an issue with their sticky ones. They seem to be really good waterproof tapes, um, but that's definitely something that you want to think about. Um, the other cool feature that these have, kind of like on their AccuTouch, and I know it's kind of hard to see here. Um, let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. This little stopper right here, you know, once I get my sight dialed at 20, um, I can put that stopper on there, and then when I'm, let's say I'm out shooting at, you know, 80 yards or something, I can just roll that back up, and when it stops, you know that your sight is zeroed again. So after you're done shooting distance, you just boom, roll that up till it stops. Now all my pins are zeroed again, and uh, you know you know it's going to be super accurate. So really, really cool sight from them. Um, like I said, this is the Excel landslide. Um, I I'm definitely going to run one. I just need to get one that <laughs> that we're not trying to sell to somebody else. Um, but yeah, I probably one of my favorite sights on the market right now. It's lightweight. It seems to be built super durably, rugged. Um, it's got a lot of technology that's in there. Uh, in their target sites that they put into their their hunting site. So definitely knocked it out of the park with this one I really like the fact that I can just change out different heads um, You know spot hog you can change from like a single pin to a triple pin But it's a completely different third axis adapter So every time you swap it out you're having to reset all your axes and it's just kind of a pain this one You literally just you know pop it on and off super easy Like I said, I mean got a three pin head. Let's say I want to put on a single pin scope just slide that out, slide my scope on, and I'm ready to go. So lots of options with it, super adaptable, or adaptive, or whatever the term might be. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just, I think it's a killer sight. So if you have any questions on this, hit that comment section below. Um, I'm gonna ask you to try to refrain from calling the shop with questions right now because we are so, so busy that I, I just don't have the time during the day to spend 15, 20 minutes on the phone answering questions. Um, so after work every day, I'll check the comment sections and try to get back to you guys as quick as I can. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching today. Head over to insideoutprecision.com and get yourself some merch. We got hats, we got t-shirts, hoodies, tanks, cups, phone cases, anything you can think of. Um, really appreciate all the support. Things have been going great. And uh, remember, precision is, is a decision. Keep them in the middle, and I'll see you on the range.